Hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be uh, working with uh, learning about the get line uh, the get line function right and the fu get line function doesn't seem all that powerful but if you really know how to use it properly then it can be very powerful okay especially when you're working with file streams and and stuff like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, a string we're gonna call cn str and we're gonna print that string to the screen and you're gonna see why I do this in a second so you should already know this is basic input output so I'm gonna put this is a test now notice when it hits a space then it and it reads it as the end of the input right so when you put a space it the program says okay the, the space uh, once you see a space that means that is the cutoff point for the text right but say you told the person to input their name first and last name they're gonna put a space between their first and last name so uh, how would you do this well you could do this with the get line function so what we do with the get line function is that uh, we put the word get line and then we use the command that we're getting the stuff from so whether it be uh, CN or whether we're getting it from a file or whatever right so in this case we're using the CN function to store it into our variable the next one asks for the variable which we're going to be storing it into and the third option don't worry about that just yet but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put get line we're using the send command and we're going to store that in our string so now if I say this is coding made easy it stores the whole every single th thing I typed into uh, the our string right and uh, so that is how we do it now let me put as in this parameter let me put a comma okay so if I try to run this let's see what happens I'm gonna say this is comma coding made easy notice that it just says coding it, this it just says this is and without the comma so the third parameter is a delimiter so you notice how whenever we just call the cn command and we saw a space and then once you saw the space it's seen it as the end of the input just the get line function operates exact same so whenever we use get line by default the delimiter is the new line character so whenever you click enter or whatever you go to a brand new line it feels as though you are done with the input but we can replace that delimiter with another value right so we in this case we placed we replace the delimiter with a comma so every single time that our program hits a comma then it when it hits a comma it feels our input we tell our input that we're done with our that selected input okay so whenever we put a comma when we're putting in our cn command when we use get line when we use this function right here whenever we put a comma there it is going to end the input basically that is what it's saying okay uh, I hope I didn't really confuse you guys because I, I just confused myself for a second. So anyways, uh, let us create an, uh, mm, let's see, let's create an if stream. Call it open file, do test.txt. So in the same way that uh, we can get a full line of text with a, with a, with the CN command, we could do that with the if stream as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if it is open then we're going to uh, do this but we can loop through all of it but since we only have one line then there's no point in looping through the whole thing uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say this is coding made easy now remember the other day the other way we had it it was it would stop at the spaces right and then it would uh, consider it done when we had a space when we use the get line method though, the difference is that we would have to put open file, right? The name of the file, the handle to the file that we're using, right? We're not using cn, we're actually getting, we want to get a line from our text file, right? So we use open file and we're going to be storing it in the string. 
so the same way this is gonna work so let's run this one more time and as you can see it displays the text this is coding made easy rather than just displaying a uh, random text right and the same way the delimiter works the same way so let's say for example you had a uh, sorry um let's say we had a list of things that we wanted to put like we had whatever what so on and so forth and we had a comma to separate something like that or whatever right once if we put a comma as a delimiter then should be yeah make sure it's a character make sure it's a char rather than a string so I'll put single quotations but if we put this here oh sorry we didn't even save the text file save that okay let's run this one more time sorry so it says it all the way up to these random letters K right so let's see if it worked properly so yeah so once I hit this then it never put the rest of the text right here so you can use the get line function to get whole lines at a time and then for example if you get if you get a whole line and you want to divide up the line into certain elements or whatever then you can also you could use the get line to do that as well so the get line is very powerful and there's more things that you can do with it once we learn about the s stream the string stream and stuff i'll teach you in case like for example if we have uh multiple delimiter delimiters and we want to do stuff with them uh we can handle that using the string stream so I will show you how to do all that stuff when we get into strings and the string class and learning about string streams because there's a lot of stuff you need to learn about strings which is very important so I'm going to end the tutorial here so I hope this tutorial wasn't too confusing and I hope you gained something from it so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and bye